right, beautiful day outside. I'm gonna do a video on the new camera I just got, the Panasonic FC300. This is the old camera, the 200. Um, got it about three weeks ago. It's been a great camera so far. There's still a ton to learn about it, but uh, I'm gonna tell you some of the things I like and uh, some things I need to figure out with it. Um, something right away I like more is the grip on it. It's much more aggressive than the 200. I don't know if you can tell that, but just easy to grab. This one's still okay, but there's not as much um, grip here on the top. So uh, this one's easy to hold and, and shoot while you got your other hand doing whatever else. Um, I really like it. It has a better viewfinder. It has a lot of rubberized area around there. And I really never used the one on this one. This one's easy even with glasses to put your face in there and take pictures, video, whatever. Uh, this one does uh, have a touch screen on the back side so you can choose different menu options. Um, I really like that while you're recording you can touch on the spot that you want it to focus on and it'll focus right there. Um, that's a huge benefit over this one. This one does have Wi-Fi options I haven't messed with. Uh, it does shoot in 4K. I messed with that a little bit. Um, probably not going to do too much 4K. The mic on the side is regular mic jack size, like for headphone jack. Whereas this one I had to get an adapter, it was smaller. So I like that. And both have the same zoom, same aperture, 2.8, uh, same Leica lens. Uh, battery power on the newer one's not as good as the old one. This one would take 580 pictures, this one's 340. Um, kind of a big difference, but uh, that's okay. It's 340 still quite a bit. So when I bought this uh, camera, instead of paying just the full price for the camera, I paid the full price for the camera plus a kit. So the kit came with a case. Um, you're already going to get the strap. You're already going to get a charger and a battery, but this one came with an extra battery. And I already had two with this camera, and they take the same battery, so I got four batteries now. Got the thing for the sun. Came with some UV filters. Came with a 32 gigabyte card, class three card, I believe. Um, that's good. You know, that's that's a lot. That's extra money that came with the kit. Um, I think it's an SD card case. Don't really need that. It came with some oh screen protector for the the screen. I haven't put that on. And it has like a a cleaning kit also that I don't have in my kit anymore. But yeah, I'd, I'd recommend going with the kit because you can still get the camera and then just extra stuff if it's the same price might as well get it um, but overall very pleased with the camera so far I've filmed with it for an hour and a half to almost two hours um, on and off on and off and it's done a great job didn't have any issues like getting hot or anything battery power was good it was like on one bar but I had extra batteries uh, there um, so overall I like it um, it did seem like when I was in the field walking around, it was a little bit more jerky, where um, it was trying to like do its stabilization kind of too much. And I'm sure there's a setting in there I'm going to get in there and learn more about it. I still need to learn the ISO functionality and how to take the night shots and everything. But uh, overall, really impressed with how it feels. The wheel is a lot more aggressive. It's like you can almost like file your finger fingers on it. It's so like hard and uh, not, not smooth basically, very rigid. Um, so seems like a good camera. It's weatherproof, dustproof, so that'll be a huge bonus over this one. That's where I, I had issues with dust getting in the zoom and then it failing on me. So uh, hopefully that won't happen with this, but I'm gonna be careful with the dust because I know what it can do. But overall, Panasonic FC300 is good. I do need to get a new mic. Uh, the mic I have, uh, the wire started stripping on it because it was all tangled up because I had the uh, adapter to make it into this and eventually it being twisted so hard it, it uh, started to wear through. So if you have any recommendations on a, on a good mic, let me know. I'm looking at the Rode Series mics. Uh, those are great and just got to figure out which one I'm going to get and then buy it here in the next week or two. So more to come. A lot of footage will be shot with this camera. And I'm excited to get the mic going because the audio is really bad in the last uh, the shed hunt video or the shed shed fest video. So thanks for watching. See ya.